turning our attention to the crypto market at the moment and we're exploring privacy wallets and Bitcoin silent payments tools as protecting financial privacy in a world increasingly driven by digital surveillance. Joining me now is Vikrant Sharma from Cake Wallet. It's good to have you with me. What are the Bitcoin silent payments and, and how do they work? Uh, yeah, first of all, thanks for having me on. I really appreciate it. Um, so as you know, Bitcoin in, in, uh, in essence is a transparent blockchain. Uh, what that means is anytime you send somebody your Bitcoin address, they can see all your activity, they can see your balance. Uh, so it's not private at all. Uh, one way to counteract that is you can generate new Bitcoin addresses every time somebody wants to send you Bitcoin, which is pretty inconvenient for you know having to do that each time. So this is where silent payments come in. Silent payments give you one address, which is your silent payment address. And you give that one address to everybody that wants to send you Bitcoin. Now, what happens is whenever that sender uses that silent payment address, a new on-chain address is generated for you, a unique address every single time. So now when somebody sends you Bitcoin, they can only see what happens in that one address. That gives you some privacy when using Bitcoin. Mm. It's been said that uh, on-chain is the new online in many ways, but how is silent payments different from regular Bitcoin transactions? Run us through a little bit deeper. Yeah, the, the transaction is, is identical to a regular Bitcoin transaction, only the address is different. And that doesn't even go on the blockchain, the silent payment address. That address is just used by the sender's wallet to generate a regular address for you. So once you get to the transaction part, it looks the same like any other Bitcoin transaction. So it's not going to raise any red flags or make it look like you used a privacy tool. Okay. And how can everyday users make, uh, you know, start making these silent payments? What's the best way to sort of engage with this technology? Sure, sure. That's a, it's a really good question because what use is technology if you can't use it, right? Yeah. Um, so yeah, you have to use a, a wallet that supports silent payments, like uh, like our Cake Wallet. Um, and once you download that and you set up a Bitcoin wallet, it's it's very easy. You just choose a silent payment address, and then it's just like sending and receiving a regular Bitcoin address. The same way you would scan or paste a regular address in the sender's field uh, and the address field. The same way you would just put a, a silent payment address in there and. It'll work like a regular Bitcoin transaction. Okay, so why is Bitcoin, despite common belief, not actually private? Yeah. I think a lot of people would be surprised by that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's what everybody seems to think, that it's private. But un unfortunately, it's not. Uh, you can go to any blockchain explorer. You can type in your address in there and you'll, you'll see uh, all your transactions, your balance. Uh, and you can even go backwards from there. You can look at your sender's history and their sender's history and, and keep going backwards uh, as much as you want. Um, I mean, look, there are other more private chains out there like Monero or use Litecoin with MWeb or Zcash Shielded. Um, but unfortunately, Bitcoin, that's just the way it's built. It's not private. Mm, okay, so what risks do people face under growing financial surveillance? What are the sort of things we're trying to combat here or navigate? So, I mean, financial privacy, right? Uh, it, it all comes down to that. How you spend your money is your business and nobody else's. Uh, so what are the risks in that? If if your bank doesn't like uh, where you're sending money, they can freeze your assets or seize your assets or, or sanction you or, or just um, cancel you from the bank. And the same thing goes with Bitcoin. If you're, if you're using, um, you know, in a, very, in a very transparent way and the exchange doesn't, like how you're spending or where you're spending the money to, they can cancel your account or seize your funds. So I think financial privacy is quite important. Mm, mm. Let's touch on why the level of privacy is important for the average person, would you say? I, I think a lot of people out there, they feel that transparency, perhaps in contrast to what you were saying just before, is uh, a welcome thing, but it's not always the case. Yeah, it's not always the case. I mean, you know, everybody has a different level of privacy that they, that they strive for. Um, I mean, just the same way, if you're using cash, if you go down to the local store and give cash to buy something, you're not revealing your complete history, uh, your bank balance or what have you. So why not in Bitcoin as well? That same privacy should exist and things like silent payments definitely let you do that. 
Mm. All right, well, let's touch on Cake Wallet now. And uh, where can we get yeah. our hands on it if people do want to engage with this sort of thing and learn a little bit more from you or someone from the team? Yeah, so if, if you just want to try Cake Wallet, um, you can go to cakewallet.com and Cake Wallet is there for iOS, Android, all, you know, desktop as well. Um, if you want to specifically learn about silent payments, you can go to silentpayments.xyz, which is more of a general silent payment informational site. Um, and you can start your, uh, your uh, journey on financial privacy. Vic Grant, I want to thank you for bringing this to our attention. Running me through it today, it's certainly an interesting space as crypto becomes more and more mainstream. Uh, if people want to find out more from you or connect with you, where's the best place to do so? Uh, you can find me on X, <laughs> previously known as Twitter, right? Uh, it's vikrantnyc.com, or you can send me a message on Telegram, which is just at cake, uh, C-A-K-E, as in Cake Wallet. Um, and I'll be, I'll be happy to hear from you. Wonderful stuff from you. And thanks again for joining us right here on Ticker. Thank you.